I'm going to show you how you can um, mesh these if you don't want to do a sort of particle render and you want to do actually mesh it like you would mesh a bifrost liquid or something like that. So um, we're in the scene where we were before, but I'm going to basically let's just strip everything out that I don't need. So I'm just going to do the liquid. Um, I could just go in and turn all these off, but I think just for visual ease. I'm going to delete them. So get rid of the sand. I'm going to keep the liquid. I'm going to get rid of uh, the cloth. I'm going to get rid of these two because they were my constraints. I'm going to keep. Uh, let's get rid of. Sand. Gonna keep my pit mesh collider, but I don't need the snow one. And I'll leave all that as this, as is. Um, file cache. AI switch. Let's get rid of that. And. And let's put that back to actually let's just rename that. Quit. I'm just gonna call it liquid mesh. Um I shall not call it liquid mesh because that might be a bit confusing. Um liquid for meshing. I'm going to mesh it after I cache it. Right, um, so let's hit L on the keyboard. Don't need these anymore. So, let's put that back down to right. Should get that appears. Let's just make these a bit smaller. Right, um, let's delete that. Well, I'll just hide it. Hide, hide, hide. Um, water, let's unhide that for the moment because I'm just going to put it in the middle. Right, so that's the sort of basic setup. through that quickly so so I'm just doing now a fluid water mesh got a set color property on it uh, that's my collider my solver settings are all fine let's just go back to that even though that doesn't work now I've not got a cloth there um, that's set to right we've got a sign material but we haven't assigned a material yet and that should do it. Right, I probably am going to emit for a bit longer than a frame, uh, but I won't do continuous. I'll do, I'll stop at frame 50. And I'll cash out 100 frames and I'm just going to do one more thing, which is make it a little bit more detailed, but not too much because I don't want to sit here waiting for it to simulate for hours. And I can probably, because I'm not going to render out the particles anymore, I don't really need that many of them anymore. So this will slightly speed up the sim. Okay, so just double check everything, right cache, yep, so I'm just going to hit play and I'm going to pause. I've been caching it out and it's taking a bit too long um, at the resolution I've got, 0 0.01, um, so I'm probably going to just up the res a bit and redo it, otherwise it's going to take about three hours if not longer. Um, 
So we'll do that now. Point two. But what I might do is I might give it more particles. Um, so let's go back up here. Because I think the meshing is based on the particles, so I might add a few more. Double it up. Um, actually, I might make 32, but then took this down a bit more, even. So it was at 2.5. Be a bit low res, but oops, what's going on there? Maybe two, two. Yeah, that's a bit bad. Okay, so I'm just going to set that off again. Yeah, it's a bit quicker. So I've cached that out, and I've just set my cache to read, so I don't overwrite it. And I've got this sort of fluidy thing going on. Um, I've not even looked at it yet, so hopefully it looks all right. Let's have a look. Might not be the quickest thing to sim. It's quite lobby everywhere. Um, should I do a play blast? Yeah, I'll do a play blast. Uh, let's do, 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 do uh, play blast. I'll pause this while I play blast. <clears throat> so that's my play blast. Um, it's not the most exciting, but it's you know, good enough for what we want to do. Right, so let's look into meshing it. So let's minimise that. 